The second edition of the newly rebranded European Asset Management Conference took place in a new location offering a casual and cosy atmosphere, facilitating business interactions for over 700 participants from across Europe. We need to be here, see our clients, showcase what we have, but it's also interesting for us to hear where the industry is going, what are the concerns, because we're adapting to that on a daily basis. Under the headline Product People Progress Prediction, this not-to-be-missed annual gathering of the European fund industry offered industry players valuable insights and updates into the current opportunities and trends directly from the key decision makers. Opened by the Luxembourg Prime Minister, the first day of the event provided participants with a positive outlook of the European fund industry. The economies are growing, people are saving more, Retirement is a requirement uh, for uh, all people now working. The industry is going to grow roughly at about 6% per annum, which is a great growth rate, quite frankly. Although progress and digital transformation instill optimism, one of the biggest challenges for asset managers is to maintain efficiency under pressing regulation. With Brexit potentially changing cross-border fund distribution, the conference put a spotlight on the future arrangements between third countries and the EU. On the work of ESMA in the context of Brexit, Stephen Mayor, the chair of the European Authority, commented... Now meeting on a regular basis as national supervisors to discuss cases of uh, UK market participants relocating to the EU27 and making sure that we have the same uh, supervisory uh, understanding same supervisory application across the EU27. Influenced by the global debate on gender diversity, the conference hosted a prestigious panel and discussed the latest initiatives to close the gender gap. Women manage less than one in 10 funds in Europe, with just 20% of boards being female. And the reasons for this disparity are not instantly obvious. It's not a question of women not wanting to have a career in, in our industry. We just, I think we need to educate them uh, about the careers in the industry. We need to start focusing on uh, having these conversations with women much earlier as well because women, uh, students tend to make a decision about their careers when they're between 18 and 21. Investor perspective is key to the industry. So discussions also referred to studies analysing different countries' citizens' attitudes to risk and reward, and how asset managers could rethink notions of customer experience. Viewers, you have investors which are not very sensitive to losses. In America, when you make a loss, you have something like a reset button which you press by saying shit happens, and then you look into the future. In Northern Europe, in Germany, you don't have this. If I make a loss, I'm struggling with the loss for many years, but in America, they're much better at this, they look into the future. Looking ahead, asset managers are recognizing the growing importance of responsible investing for their existing and future clients. Speakers highlighted academic evidence that points to above average financial returns for funds that consider environmental, social and governance investment criteria in their investment decisions. Well, responsible investing is one of the three pillars of the Luxembourg Fund Centre and Alfie has been quite active in responsible investing since 2006. Responsible investing assets in investment funds have doubled between 2010 and 2016 and we see, again, because of investor demand for responsible investing strategies, huge potential in the growth of that area of uh, investing. It is not by chance that the Alfie Conference ended with a discussion focusing on fintech and artificial intelligence developments that will change the way people invest. But although we don't know yet where technology will really take us, there is general optimism that progress will, in turn, bring opportunity.